you can draw this donut in Procreate. If you just got started in Procreate, or if you want to improve your drawing and painting skills in Procreate, then you have come to the right place. I will show you all the techniques that you need to know, and I will guide you through every step of the way. So if you just follow this video, then I'm sure that you can paint this donut too. Following tutorials like this one will really improve your drawing and painting skills in Procreate. And all these awesome artworks that I see every day on Instagram, those are proof of that. In this video, you will be learning by doing, because that's the best way to learn. I will show you how you can use different brushes. I'll show you how you can use selections in your work and lots more. So let's not delay and let's get started. First of all, our canvas. It is 2,500 by 2,500 pixels. And I have created a color palette for you in case you want to use the exact same colors I'm using this video. You can download it for free through a link in the description. First thing we'll do for this painting is select the first color here, that bright blue, and we will fill our background with it. And before we can continue, we will need to make a new layer on top of this blue layer. You can do that by clicking the plus. And here we will draw our donut. And we will do that with the monoline brush. You can find it under calligraphy. In this video, we will only use brushes that are already in the app. We will use this donut color. First thing we'll need to do is make kind of an oval shape for our donut. I have the brush size set to 20%. And if you go to your brush settings, you can do that by clicking the brush. You can find streamline here. And if you turn up the streamline, you will get more smooth lines. So if you tend to make wobbly lines, then turning up streamline, that's pretty handy. So let's make an oval shape for our donut. A bit like this. And you can fill the shape by dragging in the color. And if you go to this little arrow, you can move it around on your canvas to place it where you want it to be. Next, we will add the glazing to our donut. We'll do that on a new layer again. So we'll click the plus and create layer three. And for this layer, we will pick this pink right here. And now we will make a shape on top. Let's start about here and make some wobbly lines then Follow that shape that you already created. Make some wobbly lines on the side because that glazing that might have drips a little bit. And now you can fill this, this shape as well. And always make sure that your shape is closed. Otherwise the color will leak out and your entire canvas will turn pink. For our next step, we will make a new layer again. So we'll go to these two squares to our layers, click the plus. And for this layer, we will use layer clipping mask. If you click this layer and then select clipping mask, this layer will be clipped to that pink shape. And now whatever we paint on layer four will only show up on the pixels on this layer three. So it will only show up on the pink that's there. And now we are going to make a selection. You can make selections here in the menu where you see this S shaped ribbon. And we will go for the ellipse. And now we want to create an ellipse right where that donut hole is. And it might take a couple of tries to get it in the right position. So, well, this is not the right position. So we'll just tap with two fingers to undo it. I want it to be a bit higher. So we'll start here. I think I like it like this. And now I will save this selection. So I'll go to save and load and click the plus. And now we have saved this selection. And what I want to do now is invert this selection. So click invert. 
and then save the inverted selection as well. So click the plus again, and now we have the inverted selection. So now everything around the circle is selected. And once you have a selection active, you can only paint inside that selection. And that can come in pretty handy. We will use a spray paint. Let's use the medium nozzle and go to this light pink. And let's make our brush size 12%. And the opacity is at 80%. Now when you paint on a donut, you can see that this light only will show up on our selection. So you can make a nice crisp line this way. And when we deselect, there you can see that we have this little suggestion of a hole. But let's also add some darker colors to our donut. We'll go to this reddish pinkish color, make our brush a bit bigger. Let's go for 30% and glaze over this side of the donut. And the selection doesn't need to be active right now. And this spray paint brush, it also gives a nice texture. So we'll just go over this left side. We can also go over here. That's that inside of the donut. already starting to look more rounded. Now let's switch to that light color again, that light pink. That's the third color in the color palette. And I'll make the brush a bit smaller, 15%. And let's go over these edges, giving them a nice highlight. And I'm painting a bit outside of the shape to let a thin line of light hit that donut. So a bit on this side. We can add some more highlights here. Let's make the brush a bit smaller, 10%. Here on top, I'll go bigger again, 22% to make a highlight here on top. A bit more down here. Now let's make a new layer and work on this inside a bit more. So we'll click the plus and we will use layer clipping mask again. And let's turn on a selection again. So we'll go to the S shape ribbon, then go to save and load and we'll click this selection. And now this circle here is active. So we can only paint inside of that circle. Now let's grab this dark red. We still use that medium nozzle brush. Add a bit of shadow here. Now let's also add a hint of the donut itself. So we'll pick this sandy color I'll make the brush a bit smaller, 8%. And 
And I want to add a little bit of the color down here. And perhaps there's also some light hitting here. So we'll grab that light pink, make the brush even smaller. I'll go to 3% and add a little bit of highlight. The glazing of the donut that has some nice bright highlights. Let's also make some here. Let's turn off the selection, see how it looks. You can just click that S shape ribbon. Now, this line, it's a little bit crisp, so let's go over it with that dark red. Make the brush a bit bigger again, 15%. And we'll go over that area to blend it in a bit more. On this side as well. We can also grab that light pink again, make the brush a bit smaller, 10%, and go over this little edge as well. Just to blend everything a little bit. And make that circle a bit less obvious. Now I'd like to add some texture to that underside of the donut. So we need to go to that layer at the bottom, that sandy colored layer, and we'll make a new layer on top of this one. And again, we will use layer clipping mask because we don't want to paint outside of this shape. And let's grab the fat nozzle and this dark orangey color. Let's make our brush 13%. Opacity is at 50%. Now let's add some darkness to that underside. And at the same time, let's add some light splotches as well by picking this color here. We'll make the brush a bit bigger, 25%. I'll just dab a bit there. Now I'll switch to the medium nozzle. Go to 6%. Make a bit of a line here. That looks nice and donutty. I do think that the edge is a little bit too smooth. So I want to fix that and we can do that by using a layer mask. Go to layer two with that basic shape on it, click it and then go to mask. Now we can use black to mask parts of what's on this layer. And let's use the burn tree brush for that. You can find it under charcoals. And let's make this brush nice and small. Let's go for 1%. Just gently go along that edge so that it's not that smooth anymore. It gives it a bit more realism, our donut. And if you want to learn more about painting realism or about painting and procreate in general, learn more about the techniques, go more in depth, then you might like my Patreon page because there I share a lot of 
fully narrated video tutorials ranging from beginner level to more advanced levels. And I am always there to help you out, to answer questions. And you can always reach out to me through DM. It's a fantastic place, a fantastic community with lots of great people there. So if you want to take a next step in Procreate, improve your skills, then you might like it there. Now let's give our donut some sprinkles. Let's make a new layer on top. So we'll go to the top layer and click the plus to make a new layer. And we will go back to the calligraphy brushes and use the monoline brush. And we'll make our brush pretty big. Let's go for 60%. And we'll pick some bright colors. Let's go for these purples in our color palette, but you can use any sprinkle color that you like, of course. And we will place some sprinkles by just making these random lines. I actually prefer just plain sugary donuts, but sprinkles, they sure look cheerful on a donut. And here in the Netherlands, if you go to a Dunkin' store, they also have Stroopwafel donuts. I guess you'd pronounce it as Stroopwafel. And those are, yeah, I think they might be my favorite. They have this nice caramel-like filling. Yeah, I love those. Now I'm hungry. So we'll continue making these sprinkles, sprinkles, sprinkles. I guess I was thinking about Pringles, not that I'm hungry. Okay, we'll continue making these sprinkles. Just place them randomly and we'll also add some with this more bluish purple color to add some variety. Just use different angles for your sprinkles. To make these look even better, they need a highlight and a little shadow. Let's add a shadow first. We will make a layer underneath our sprinkles. So click layer five, then click the plus, and we will set this layer to multiply. Just click the N and scroll up to multiply. And now we can just pick this reddish color and let's use the medium nozzle spray paint again i have it set to five percent we can zoom in a bit and now just place a little shadow under each sprinkle make sure that you put it on one side try making a consistent shadow placing each shadow on the same side or just about let's imagine well you can see that the, the sunlight or the lamp the light anyway is hitting from this side just imagine on which side of the sprinkle the light would hit and on which side the shadow would be then. Just go over all these sprinkles, adding that shadow. And that'll make it look a lot more like they are laying on top. And now for the highlight, we'll make a new layer for that as well. But we do need to make that layer on top of the sprinkles because of course, otherwise we wouldn't be able to see it. So click the layer with the sprinkles, then click plus. And let's set this layer to screen. So we will click the N again, then scroll down to screen. And let's pick this bright. Well, is it white? No, it's not entirely white almost white let's go to two percent and add a highlight to each sprinkle 
let's make a line that's in the same direction as the sprinkle. Thin little line. And remember, I know I'm kind of late to say this, but of course you can always pause the video or rewind and do everything at your own pace. I might be going through this pretty quick, but for you, just take your time. Pause the video, rewind, and just don't forget once you're finished to, uh, to share your work on Instagram and tag me in the image so I will be able to see it. Almost there. Yes, all the sprinkles. That looks nice. Finally, let's just add a little bit more glow to our donut. All the way at the bottom, go to that blue layer, add a new one on top, and let's use, let's just use the medium nozzle. I love that one. And use this bright blue. And we'll make the brush bigger though. 30%. And we'll make a nice glow surrounding our donut. Let's go all the way around. To make a nice glow. And now we can blur this one a little bit. Go to the magic wand in the menu, then to Gaussian blur. And if you slide your pen or finger over your screen, you can blur it a bit. Let's go for 30% or 30.1. And if you want to control this glow a bit, you can always just press that N and use the opacity slider to make it more subtle. You go for 95 or 90. I just want it at max. And there's our donut. Now I want to eat one and remember, if you liked this video, if you enjoyed following this tutorial, then follow my other tutorials as well. If you follow my videos, then I'm sure that your Procreate skills, your drawing and your painting skills, they will improve. So you can check out these two videos, for example. I will see you next time.